This is just something we have been doing for a long time. Our grandma and grandpa carried their footsteps on this Mother Earth. And other grandma and grandpa carried their footsteps with their kids and children. So that's what we're doing now is continuing our uh, journey. We were never rich on anything because we all did things in a small way with our prayers. Our prayers is the whole thing. Our prayers are all the Mother Earth. Our prayers about the water that we use to pray with. Our prayer is with the eagle feathers that drops from the sky and bring us that message, bring us that rain cloud, bring us that storm, bring us everything that we want so our food will grow. All we have to do is pray for the food and the medicine, everything else all around us to make it happen. My name is Johnny Bob. When I was growing up, Grandma always says, you're gonna be a man pretty soon. Lead your people. Take care of your people. They listen to you, they follow you, they be with you all the way. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Stayed in outside and learned from my grandma. Go outside with your grandpa. Go outside and play with a lizard and rabbit or coyote. They're out there. They want you to play with them. So I did. And that's how I was raised. With the little creatures out there. While well, grandma stayed home and prayed for me. She never teach me anything. I learned it myself. And that's what she wanted me to do. She knew that this world was going to be hard to live on. But I had to depend on my spiritual way. The purpose of this walk and run was for the people to tell them and let them know that this is Shoshone land. We are still fighting with our government because of all these things that's happening in the Nevada test site, fracking, oil well, mining, but it's not benefiting the Western Shoshone nation. The government has control of that. My mom and I, would, we go to Death Valley every single year, and when you planted them, when they were trees, yeah. we saw them when they were trees. And every year when we come down here, we're, we're yeah. talking about them. We call them sticks. <laughs> but what is the significance of them? It's 
So when the government has control of that and we don't get anything, we're not all rich. We are rich in our mind. We are rich in healing to this Mother Earth. But our government is fencing us up. We can't go do this. We can't go do that. We can't go in anybody's property because we get kicked out. Our God gave us this land to live on this Mother Earth and pray and use it. They're taking all the minerals and everything out of it. It should be staying in the ground. Keep it there. There was enough killing back then. Now I think it's the time that they stop and we live our life. Uh -huh. This mother is so, so old. Without water, we'd be nothing. So we have to take care of it in a good way.
He's come here to bless the land, bless the Shoshone Nation land. We don't need this nuclear waste. We don't need to buy electricity. We don't need to buy water. We don't need to buy air. The system that we live in has to change. Not for you. Not mine, mine, mine. Me, me, me. It's for our children, your children, your grandchildren's children, children, children. It goes that way. It's not always you. You gotta think about the next generation, the generation after that, the generation after that. Make a sacrifice that way so they can have something that you, you have right now to drink water, breathe air, use fire to cook your food. Use that water to plant your vegetables. You lost your umbilical cord to Mother Earth. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for your umbilical cord. You wake up every day. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. But really, really back in your mind is you're searching for something, but you can't find it. You won't find it until you realize it may take you 80, 90 years to wake up in your life. Once you wake up, it's too late. You can't turn back time. You're gonna grow older, then you're gonna be rest back in Mother Earth, where you came from. Oh-ho! We wish you guys a good day, happy day, work, take care of this land with your prayers. This is our church. This is our way. This is how we feel. Take care of yourself. Be humble. Be the way you are. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>